a headache can actually start in your stomach. If you start the day with something cold and raw like a green juice or something um, really, really fresh and cold, um, your stomach will not be strong enough to digest it. The digestive energy that you need in your center will flare up and give you dizziness and headache right around here or the top of your head. So start the day with something warm like green tea and like a cooked grain, like toast, uh, something that will f feel nourishing for you. Another reason for a headache could be uh, muscle tension or poor circulation in the neck and in the head. If you have a neck injury or if you sit at a computer all day with sort of poor posture, uh, there are some exercises that you can do to help bring bladder, blood circulation to your head. And that will improve memory, will improve the blood circulation to your face so that you look um, younger and feel better, and will reduce shoulder stiffness. First thing to do is to take a, a bath towel or a, or a medium-sized towel and roll it up so that you have something this round and firm and put it behind your neck and lay on it that way instead of a big fat pillow. And 15 minutes a day, stretch your neck out this way. There are devices that you can get online, such as this, this uh, pump that you put yourself into. You put it behind you when you're laying flat in bed, and you get into it like this. And um, then you, you puff it up like this. Woof, woof, woof. And it stretches your neck. It's as though someone be is behind you pulling and stretching your neck so that it gets the correct curve that it needs, the curve that will separate the, the cervical vertebrae so that blood can flow smoothly through your head. Um, another reason that people get headaches is uh, stress, tension, but this can also lead to something called TMJ, temporal mandibular joint pain, and TMJ, nerve pain. And the acupuncture points that we use for TMJ are, let's say we have it on this side, right here underneath the bone and here. These are where muscles can get very uh, tight and very stiff, especially if you grind your teeth in your sleep or you talk with a very tight jaw. Uh, this can get very tight and along here and behind here and up here. What you can do is um, feel what is sensitive, feel what hurts. And if it's on this side, put a cooling oil, the center, and then down, you're going to find a groove. Here's find first the center line, right, with your nose. And then about a half an inch down, there, you're going to find a groove and you're going to find some painful points. Well, um, you can massage them very um, firmly. You can put um, a cooling oil there like lavender, like sandalwood, like rose. Also, find points here, find points here, find this point here, and here, and along the eyebrow. So you're relaxing this entire area with massage and with cooling. If it's comfortable for you, use one of these big massagers. Now, you can do it in, in front and behind, and along here, and the top. Just avoid this area, avoid the juggler vein. You can do the top of the shoulder, the top of the arm, because the point is to bring inflammation from your head, from your jaw, downward, down to the extremities, to the hands, and down to the feet. So you can also continue here this way, along the leg, and the top of the feet too, see? Here. Now. This area, the jaw, is one of the most stressed areas we have in the body. So the nerve, the nerve um, neurons that are here rejuvenate and are, are replaced the most uh, often and the most quickly anywhere in the body. In other words, your nervous system has to replace itself here more often than anywhere else. The calcium in your jaw has to replace itself or to be replenished more quickly than anywhere else in your body because our mouth is always going. And that uses up the calcium that irritates the nerves. And so uh, soothing and sedating this area, 
using an herb such as essence of tianchi flowers, which is a sweetener, a tea sweetener, which is recommended for grind when you grind your teeth in your sleep. It relaxes this area. Using oils, using massage, you can maybe find a laser. I use a laser that is a cold laser. It has a little light, you see? It doesn't penetrate the skin, but you can stimulate this area, sedate this point, never point it towards your eyes, this laser. It's a cold laser, it doesn't penetrate the skin, but it can do some damage if you use it wrong. So at the bottom of here and here, avoid the eye area, avoid the heart, but you can go in front of the ear and behind the ear, and here in the neck and the side and the top of the shoulder. And this will be able to eventually relax the muscles so that you can, your neck can go in the right place. You'll have less stiffness, less pain, and actually less stress.